just wanted to give you a little update. We are back out on the water now. Right now we're on the ICW, so not sailing today. There's very little wind today. Uh, we're headed to Cumberland Island, but we just wanted to give you an update since we're posting about the Barnacle Buster, but that should be our last how-to video for a while. Um, and we should be able to give you some video of us out on the water and exploring new places. See you soon. Okay, today our AC hasn't been working on the uh, owner side of our uh, boat. So, some friends, Holly and Ray, go visit their YouTube channel. Let us borrow their Barnacle Buster kit. And we had to do this about a week ago on the other side where we didn't have the Barnacle Buster kit. The AC wasn't working. It, it'd kick off and say high PS, which means not enough airflow over the coils and it's getting too warm. So, what we did was we run a a uh, like a wire puller through the line. It took us all day. We had to undo zip ties, tear up the whole floor. But this barnacle buster is supposed to clean it out, and you mix it four to one. So we put five liters of water in and five cups of uh, that barnacle buster what we have is we're running it through our whole system here's our uh, uh, seed cockpit I cleaned that out clean it from there to the pump took the pump apart clean the impeller uh, so all that part is clean I even dove the boat and cleaned underneath make sure it was sucking in water good okay so here's the part that goes to well, from the pump to the AC unit. Um, Alexa, cancel. Um, and then it's gonna go to, through uh, the bottom side of the Dometic. Bottom side of the Dometic, way at the bottom down there. Goes through the coils, and then normally the water gets discharged overboard. But I have it coming back in through the bucket over here and so it's just going to re, uh, recirculate and it's going to do that for an hour um, like I said before our AC unit would say it'd run for about uh, a couple minutes you'd be lucky if you got five minutes out of it and then it would just kick off start a countdown to 90 seconds and then do that again They'd do that like three or four times um, and then it would stop and just says hi PS so we're going to run this barnacle buster through it for an hour and uh we'll let you know the results all right it's 8 43 got the pump primed and it's working it just started you can see the water's kind of clear getting some stuff out of it so at 9 43 we'll come back take a look at it and see how it's doing 15 minutes after using the barnacle buster water is getting some green stuff out of it. It's 9.45, so it's one hour later. I think we're going to let it run a little longer, but here's what we have right now. All right, we're at two hours and 20 minutes. We decided to let it run a little longer. One, because I had to go to uh, West Marine and get some, a few things. So let's take a quick look at it. We'll disconnect it run the AC unit and see if it works. It might be some gook on the bottom, but it doesn't look super bad. I did get some other big chunks out. The big one right there.
Okay, uh, barnacle buster worked. Yay! Um, so we're gonna take a temperature. Got a little Ryobi. All my tools are pretty much Ryobi. Uh, and we'll see what the temperature is. What's that say? 59, 58. 59, 58. Oh, nice. Well, let's go upstairs and check the one. Now we had to take apart our bed. So this is what we have going on right now. <laughs> it's a mess, a disaster. Let's test uh, this one right here. 71, 74, 70, 70. So that one's reading 70. Um, so we're gonna do this one too and hopefully get the temperature down on it to 69. Wait, no, what was the other one? 58, 58. So we're gonna run the barnacle buster through this one as well. Hopefully get it nice and cold up here. If you can read that, it says, it was 57. That one says 40. 36. That can't be right. 31. Let's see. This is 37. 36. It was. It's 42. It was reading. What was it reading? 70 something. 70 something. So we ran the barnacle buster. We had it hooked up. And this one. We ran it for about an, almost an hour and a half. We went from 70 to about 40. Man. Oh, she broke it. You broke it. She said, I broke it. You broke it. It wasn't broken, it was in my hand. <laughs> broken knife, though. You're gonna watch me tuck it back together. You broke it. You fix it. I will. You go work on something. Here, fix this. <laughs> All fixed. Is it? 55. 54. Is Man, that, that's that even better. too close? What? Why did it say 30 something? I don't know. But anyways, it's a lot colder. It was 70, now it's 60. I don't know. It's it's great. Okay. We proved it. It's been several weeks since we've done the, or used the Barnacle Buster on uh, two of our AC units. I'm going to use it on our third one. We have four. Um, the one on our, our front starboard cabin, uh, I think it's low on flu fluid because it's not getting hot or cold and it's not giving us any other indication, um, other than it's, it needs some more Freon or something. So first of all, what you got to do is clear out your room and get my flashlight here. And you can see I got stuff. There's the barnacle buster kit I kind of put together. And I'll show you how that worked out. So the one in the aft back here, um, this is the one I'm gonna take the hose off here. Got the room cleaned out. I moved it into the head. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff in there. But for now, let's hook this thing up. I'm gonna have to, the main hookup is right here. So the water, water's gonna flow through here. And it's just going to circulate through one of the hoses on the, uh, the medic AC unit. So let me go ahead and get that hooked up for you. I have it finally hooked up, the Barnacle Buster homemade one. Let's take a look at it. Well, the light's over here. Let's take a look at this one. So first of all, I had to locate which line went over so water comes in through right here and then goes into the splitter and it's uh, the third line over takes care of this AC unit and you can see there's already some junk and crap coming out of it and it's only been on for like a minute or so so then I have it going through where the normal water would go right through here 
goes in underneath the floorboard. That's probably about 20 feet of line. Now I have it connected. Let's see. So it comes in. Line comes in right up through there. Comes into the bottom side of this coil and out through the top where it says flow. And then it returns back to the bucket and circulates. So hopefully, given an hour or so, should be all clean. AC should work. And uh, we'll be done with it. It took a little bit to get it right so water doesn't go everywhere but uh it's it's about water's gonna get in it it'll just go to the village and it'll pump it right back out so see what it does now with the original barnacle buster you're probably paying gosh i don't know six seven hundred dollars for their whole system bucket and everything my system of course, you've seen the West Marine descaling system. That's probably about forty dollars. I think if you get the original stuff, it might be a hundred dollars. Um, I probably have twenty dollars into that pump. I just got a little. I uh, put that sponge in there, act like my little filter. It's a very coarse sponge. See how dirty the water got. And I might have maybe twenty dollars into the hose. So overall. Of course, when you buy the barnacle buster, you don't get the fluid with it. You have to buy that separately. So I may have, let's see, 20 for the pump, 20 for the hose. Uh, yeah, a few extra hose clamps laying around, 40. Uh, so I may have about $80 total with the uh, descaling fluid. Um, and without it, I probably have 40 bucks into it. So save yourself some money, make your own kit. It's easy. Like I said, that pump I have there, it's 20 bucks. You wanna keep the flow low, five gallons a, a minute, you know, maybe the most. You don't want it running through there too fast. Uh, otherwise it could uh, harm the, I guess the copper tubing inside the Dometic AC unit. So there you go. Nice, cheap, easy way to uh, make your own barnacle buster and you use it for engines and descaling your engine stuff as well, so. Bam. I'll let you know how it goes. It's been about 20 minutes. Water's getting pretty dirty on it. I'll, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm looking at the clocks, what I'm doing. Uh, I'll stop it here in about another 30 minutes and, and see how it does. It's been about an hour and a half. The water's looking pretty nasty through my homemade barnacle buster. Looks like the pump we bought. Of course, it's made in China. And it's, uh,. 110 volt SML-630. So, looks like it worked pretty good. Let's go ahead and unhook this thing. Final check, 
on the AC unit and running the barnacle buster through our AC slash uh, heating unit. Um, I checked for leaks here. I didn't see any and the main pump Right there. I didn't see anything. I got a little fan on it right now. Just drying everything up a little bit Let's see what our temperature is well, This is 48 I guess you guys can see it here That will work. It's working great. That's how you do it. See you guys next time.